Hello Theo, today we're going to read the three-legged kangaroo from Uluru. Right, what's this guy doing? In the shadow of Uluru lived a different sort of kangaroo. His tail was kinked as one of his hind legs and the other kangaroo used to make fun of him. Who ever heard of a kangaroo with three legs? They laughed. This kangaroo from Uluru was best friends with an old emu. Don't listen to what they say, he assured him. They, what they think doesn't matter anyway. One early morning, as light was dawning over the red centre, a lonely kangaroo loved and called his home. A rickety tickety van trundled into view of Uluru. The kangaroo and his friend Emu greeted these strangers with a friendly, G'day, mate. You're sure you're not folks from around this way, are you? Can we help you today? In a couple of days, after a few more wrong ways, they arrived in the west, where the ocean crashed to the shore from this magnificent crest. They've gone all the way around Australia. They went the wrong way. Oh, look, they've gone surfing. Out of the van, the young blue-eyed man grabbed his wetsuit and surfboard, and his mate did the same. We've got a spare board if you'd like to, to try a big hairy wave with us guys. The kangaroo, who when he lived in Uluru, had never seen water so deep and so blue. He grabbed the board and paddled out with the rest of the crew. Kangaroo's on the surfboard, look Theo. He watched for a bit as the surfers lay on their boards waiting for the right wave to carry them forward. They jumped on their feet and shifted side to side, gliding to the beach, enjoying the ride. The kangaroo's on the surfboard, our surfer. All right, that's the end of the three-legged kangaroo from Uluru. All right, Theo, love you, mate. Bye, hope you enjoyed the story. Bye, mate.